Chapter 1 Down the Rabbit Hole Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting and of having nothing to do. Chapter 1 Chapter 2 Chapter 3 Chapter 4 Chapter 5 Chapter 6 Chapter 7 Chapter When suddenly a white rabbit chapter with pink nine. eyes ran close by her. Chapter there was nothing so very remarkable in that, nor did Alice think it so very much out of the way to hear the rabbit say to itself, Oh dear! Oh dear! I shall be late! In another moment down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Down, down, down. Would the fall never come to an end? I wonder how many miles I've fallen by this time? She said aloud. I must be getting somewhere near the center of the earth. Let me see, that would be 4,000 miles down. I think four. Down, down, down. I wonder if I shall fall right through the earth. And she tried to curtsy as she spoke down, fancy curtsying as you're falling through the air. Down, Do you down, think you could manage it? Down, and what down, an ignorant down, little girl she'll think me for asking. Down, down, down. There was nothing else to do. Chapter 2 the pool of tears. Curiouser and curiouser. Now I'm opening out like the largest telescope that ever was. Goodbye, feet. Goodbye, feet. Goodbye, feet. Goodbye, feet. Goodbye, feet. For when she looked down at her feet, they seemed to be almost out of sight. They were getting so far off. Oh, my poor little feet, I wonder who will put on your shoes and stockings for you now, dears. I'm sure I shan't be able. I shall be a great deal too far off to trouble myself about you. You must manage the best way you can semicolon but I must be kind to them, thought Alice. Or perhaps they won't walk the way I want to go. Let me see. Oh dear, what nonsense I am talking. She sat down and began to cry again. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. After a time she heard a little pattering of feet in the distance, and she hastily dried her eyes to see what was coming. It was the white rabbit returning, splendidly dressed. Stop this moment. It must be a very pretty dance, said Alice timidly. Would you like to see a little of it? I 
just wish I hadn't gone down that rabbit hole and yet and yet it's rather curious, you know. Curiouser and curiouser. I do wonder what can have happened to me. Curiouser when I used to read fairy tales, I fancied that kind curiouser. of thing never happened, and now here I am in the middle of one. There ought to be a book written about me, but there ought. And when I grow up, I'll write one but I am grown up now, she added in a sorrowful tone. At least there's no room to grow up anymore here. But then, thought Alice, shall I never get any older than I am now? That'll be a comfort, one way never to be an old woman but then always to have lessons to learn. Oh, I shouldn't like that. Oh, you foolish Alice. She answered herself. How can you learn lessons in here? Why, there's hardly room for you, and no room at all for any lesson books. And so she went on, taking first one side and then the other, and making quite a conversation of it all together. from a caterpillar, by this time she had found her way into a tidy little room with a table in the window. Who are you? And walked a little quicker. This was not an encouraging opening for a conversation. Alice replied, Alice replied, Let this be a lesson to you never to lose your temper. And after a few minutes it seemed quite natural to Alice to find herself talking familiarly with them, as if she had known them all her life. And here poor Alice began to cry again. I know I do, said Alice aloud, addressing nobody in particular. I don't know the meaning of half those long words. And, what's more, I don't believe you do either. But you're so easily offended. Just at present, at least I know who I was when I got up this morning. But I think I must have been changed several times since then. What do you mean by that? Chapter 7 a mad explain tea yourself. Party. I can't explain myself, I'm afraid, so said Alice, because I'm not myself, you see. I don't see. On various pretexts they all moved off, and Alice was soon The table was a large one, but the three were all crowded together at one corner of it. No room, no room, they cried out when they saw Alice coming. There's plenty of room, said Alice indignantly and she sat down in a large armchair at one end of the table. It wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being invited. Tut, tut, child. Everything's got a moral, if only you can find it. You should learn not to make personal remarks, Alice said with some severity. It's very rude. And the moral of that is, oh, tis love, tis love, that makes the world go round. Exactly round. so, said Alice. Then you should say what you mean. And the moral of that is, the more there is of mine, the less there is of yours. Apostrophe you, I know. Exclaimed I do. Alice, Alice, who had not attended to this last remark. At least, at least tell me what, what I say, that's the same and thing. As there seemed to be no sort not of the chance thing of her of ever getting out of the room the again. No dropped, wonder she felt and unhappy. Sat silent I almost for a wish I hadn't gone down that rabbit curious hole, and yet, and yet, curious it's rather curious. And the moral curious of that is, be what you would seem to be, or if you'd like it put more simply, never imagine yourself not to be otherwise than what it might appear to others that what you were or might have been was not otherwise than what you had been would have appeared to them. I think, you ought to tell me who you are, first, which brought them back again to the beginning of the conversation. Chapter 11 Who are you?